welcome to you all. Ambassador Chin Gang, welcome the world and beyond back to the Chinese Embassy in Washington, D.C. In the first large gathering held here since the COVID-19 pandemic hit, the feeling was, well, out of this world. What recommendations do you have for kids like Nessel who aspire to become astronauts in the future? Students were selected from across the U.S. to ask the three Shenzhou 13 Taikonauts aboard China's space station questions about their 180-day mission as they prepare to head back to Earth. Among those asking the questions, Miles and Christopher, whose passion for space exploration was fueled by this exchange with the Taikonauts orbiting Earth. To see, like, uh, the first Chinese astronauts go to, like, the first Chinese space station, not just to see what that's like for the Taikonauts themselves, but also to see what that's like for, like, the nationality as a whole and how they see their own people going up there, that's really beautiful. I'm more fascinated with the engineering side of things. I've, uh, I've always shared a passion for that. But um, if somebody offered me the chance to go to space right now, Absolutely, I'd go, yes. <laughs> there was a special surprise appearance from SpaceX founder Elon Musk who had words of encouragement for the next generation of space pioneers. And a former NASA astronaut, Donald Thomas, invited the audience not to think of themselves as American or Chinese, but as a common community of Earthlings. Today, if you ask me, hey, Don, where are you from? I'm going to say, I'm from Earth. And, <laughs> and it no longer matters... It doesn't matter what city, state, country, continent, language, religion, none of that matters. We are all, all earthlings here. Chinese President Xi Jinping said closer people-to-people -people exchanges, and mutual learning for that matter, are a sure way to eliminate estrangement and misunderstanding and promote mutual understanding among nations. By holding this event, we can shorten the distance between the Chinese and American people and enhance the friendly feelings between the two countries, especially for the younger generation, their mutual recognition. This is a very meaningful event. I hope that events like this can continue in the future. The Chinese embassy in the United States will continue to maintain close communication and exchanges with all walks of life in the United States to promote cultural and people-to-people -people exchanges between the two countries. And that feeling was shared throughout here at the embassy that no matter what differences we have here on Earth, when we look up to the heavens, we all share the same sense of wonder, the potential for exploration and discovery. Now, the Chinese space program is a growing part of that spirit. Nathan King, CGTN, Washington.